Hello and welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is faithful to his house and we are his house, his workmanship created in Christ Jesus. He's a wonderful God, a good God who's worthy of all the praise and all the glory. He's a God who is with us at all times and will never ever leave us. We come after him, we look for him. And we find him every time we come to sit with him. There's a time of the day that you've chosen, that the Lord has, the Spirit of God has led you to, where you get up every day and you go find that secret place. You sit with the Lord. Psalm 91 again, 1 and 2. You know, you seek the Lord. You find yourself in the shelter of the Most High. You find yourself making him your habitation, your your house, your place of refuge, your place of safety, your place where you go and you know that you are in him and he is with you. That place where you get your strength from, that place where you get your, your appeal from. <laughs> you know, that place where you get that love from. We are in a dark and evil world, but all because bad things are happening in the earth, they're just doing what they do in this place. We, all the, yeah, I'm, I'm saying, in other words, even though it's dark for them, it's light to us. And if it's light to us, as we go out into this place, our light shines and it flickers in this dark world. If anything comes against you, you know, it's because they see that light. If anybody stands back and they're offended, it's because they see that light. They like where they are. And for the most part, they don't know the true and living God. But if we keep on persisting in the presence of God, the light in us will shine even greater to the point where when they need help, they will receive the, they will receive it. Some might come to you and ask for prayer. Some might come and, and just want to know. Or as you're walking through this place, because we know that this is not our home. As we're walking through this place, the word of the Lord will come from you and encourage those who are in need of salvation you don't have to do great things like a uh, putting up signs and wearing I love Jesus t-shirts nothing wrong with that I'm not, I'm not saying anything against it I'm just saying that you don't have to go to work with one on all you have to do is really be who you are be who you are in Christ come sit down with him every day make the Lord most high your refuge and strength let him beautify you he beautifies the meek, that meek is humble. Those who submit themselves to God. You know, you come to him looking for strength to resist the evil that's in the world today. Because temptations and situations and circumstances, testings and trials are going to come. But greater is he who is in you than he that is in the world, the one who reminds you of all truth. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. He leads us in paths of righteousness for his namesake. This is really all about him. If we believe on him, he will show himself strong. This is he who loves us, who gave himself for us. This is he who loves us and will protect us and shield us and use us for his glory. We will do great things because he wants himself known. And the way that he makes himself known, yes, I know we have the trees and we have all of the creatures on the planet that God has made. We have the sky above and the ground beneath. We can, we have stars and, and, and the moon and we have houses and cars and great things that have been made out of good ideas. Everything that's good that happens comes from God. But 
these things alone. You know, I forgot about the water and the fish and the sea and all these other amazing things that his hands have made, his words have made. We have all of these things, and yet God chooses to work through us. It is, it is written in the Word. God chooses to speak the gospel, the good news about coming to Him and being with Him, about everlasting life, and about not having to endure this planet the way that we have been enduring it, living in it. We can live without sin. Sin might be around us while we're in the world, but it doesn't have to have us. Sinful nature does not have to rule in your heart and mind, in your mortal body. He can keep you from sin. He can keep you from falling if we really believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. If we really take time to come sit with Him. You see, as you walk through this day, and your tomorrow, and any other day, the times that you have spent with the Lord, they build up. It builds up in the Word, and it builds up in song. And you can't help but remember the Word, and you can't help but sing the Word. And when trouble comes, or testings and trials come, you have the strength inside of yourself to resist evil. That's a good thing. You have the strength inside of yourself not to lean to your own understanding when somebody accuses you of something, or when somebody just doesn't like you, or when somebody wants to know, or wants to know about Jesus, wants to know about the Father of Heaven and Earth, wants to know, has good questions, but bad intentions. <laughs> when people want to just catch you by your words and just make fun of you, the word of the Lord is in you, and the word proves itself if you say it, if you don't shrink back. But God, it, like I said, this is all about Him. When we come and we sit in His presence every day, He fills us up with the knowledge and the wisdom, with understanding. Not that you might understand every situation in the world that happens, but the understanding is about Him. The clarity that you get, you get is about Him. It's not about the issues of the flesh. What I can and cannot do is about I can do all things through Christ who is my strength. You know, you begin to say things like, He's the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, the Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God. He is able to deliver us. He, he has delivered us from all of our fears. Anything that comes against us, we refute with the word of the Lord. So that's our inheritance. That's, uh, what is that, Isaiah 55? Yeah, it is our inheritance. The world, no weapon that is formed against us will prosper. You know why the weapon won't, that's formed against you won't prosper? Because those things that come against the knowledge of God were made by God. And they don't have more power than Him. He tells them where to go. He told, He put them out of heaven. He tells them where to go. Jesus is the head of every principality and power. And this is why we must come and submit ourselves to God. The Spirit of God teaches us how to resist evil. The Word accumulates on the inside of you. And like Jesus said, the, the, the Holy Spirit, He reminds you of the truth. He makes you that w the water that's in you well up out of your heart and out of your mouth. And it speaks to the atmosphere that you, those things that you can't see, things that have, are seen yet not seen and heard yet not heard, it speaks to the atmosphere that's, that's trying to charge up and destroy all of God's good things and tells it to shut up and get out of here. You have no power and no 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 dominion here. You have no authority here. 
because Christ is here. And when Christ shows up, that Christ in you, and not waiting for a feeling, because we walk by faith, we walk by faith. And not by sight, not by what we feel, not by what we think, but by what we know of him from spending time with him. Anybody can say he is the son of God. I found that out. A lot of people can say, oh yeah, I believe that he's the son of God. But they don't know how to get on the inside. They're on the outside saying it, but they're not on the inside saying it. You got to get Christ in you and sit down with him and eat from the table, from the from the table that the Lord has set before you, Psalm 23. If you eat from the table that God has set before you, goodness and mercy really will follow you all the days of your life because your meditation is the Lord day and night. 